how does the life straw work? They say it makes contaminated water safe to drink. This is me drinking water straight out of the Truckee River in South Lake Tahoe. To be honest, I've been scared to make this video. I've been putting it off for a while. Here I am drinking water out of Lake Barron in Myers, California. Drinking water from this lake was especially scary because about 10 years ago, they closed the lake to swimmers because of dangerous microorganisms in the water. So yeah, I was concerned. I first saw the life straw on social media where people were using it to go camping or to travel abroad so they can drink water safely. But I wanted to know more about the technology inside this high-tech water filter. So we spoke with Life Straw's head of brand, Tara Lundy, about the development of the Life Straw technology. I'm Tara Lundy, head of brand at Life Straw. I have a background working for nonprofits and global health, and also have a master's in public health and an MBA. And I really wanted to get into working for private companies that do humanitarian work, and that's where I found Life Straw. That's where I got into water. So Life Straw really exists to make water safe to drink for communities around the world whether you're in a developing country or in the United States with tap water concerns, we make water safe to drink. This shows you the inside of the original Life Straw technology, and this is our hollow fiber membrane, you call it, or our membrane microfilter. Um, if you buy a regular Life Straw today, this is what's inside of it. Um, and you can see these very small, tiny straws. Um, so when you drink water, the water comes into the inside of these straws. There are tiny microscopic pores of 0.2 micron in every straw. And so bacteria, parasites, microplastics, dirt, turbidity will be trapped within these straws. And then safe water will seep through that you'll be able to drink out of the mouthpiece. So you could stick this in a river, a lake, um, any dirty water source and drink straight through and you'll get clean, clear, safe water coming through the mouthpiece. So I think the biggest success for the company and really our origin is in guinea worm eradication. The company, the technology was really created based on an effort to eradicate guinea worm in partnership with the Carter Center. So actually it was really um, the Carter Center that came to us and said, can you help us make something to help in our efforts of eradication of guinea worm? And so we got started by making this simple pipe filter um, that we now call the Life Straw Guinea Worm Filter. And if successful, it'll be the first disease to be eradicated without the use of a vaccine. Um, and we've donated about 38 million Life Straw Guinea Worm filters to the Carter Center over the course of about 20 years. Guinea Worm is believed to be over 3,000 years old. It's written about in Egyptian medical text. They believe that the symbol of medicine is actually the guinea worm being wrapped around a stick. Um, it's referenced in the Bible as the fiery serpent, um, where guinea worm had taken down armies because everybody was down with guinea worm and they couldn't fight. Guinea worm is contracted when you drink contaminated water. The male and female worm mate, and the male dies off, and the female grows upwards to three feet long in your body. Then when she's ready to emerge, she excretes like an acid and burns a hole through your skin and now it can come out anywhere on your body but typically it comes out through your feet or maybe your legs or something like that and over the course of several weeks sometimes months you have to roll a three-foot worm out of your body like centimeters by centimeters and you become paralyzed as a result of having the worm left in your body and becoming calcified when we started, they, we had 3.5 million cases in 21 countries in Africa and Asia. And last year we had 28 cases in four countries. So we're in the home stretch. There's major challenges before we finish. But um, President Carter took on the campaign um, and the Carter Center has led the campaign since 1986. And he's been very clear about the fact that he wants to see Guinea Worm finish before he passes away. 
We hope and expect that within a year or two, there will be no more guinea worm anywhere. If they succeed, within the next few years, guinea worm could become the second human disease in history after smallpox to be eradicated from the earth. So we're all pushing as hard as we can to finish. And um, since we don't have a vaccine and we don't have a medication, changing people's behavior is one aspect. And one of the um, behaviors is getting to people to filter all of their drinking water um, so that they don't get guinea worm disease. So it's really, I think, a pretty cool piece of innovation. And it went from being um, something that, you know, a nomadic guy on the somewhere in Mauritania was just like, you know, I'm going to use this, I'm going to put the filter at the bottom of this reed and make a straw out of it into something now that um, filters out up to X number of diseases, which is amazing. And once we started working with them, we said, okay, is there additional technologies we can layer in to really address broader issues of water contamination throughout the globe? And it started with humanitarian, so addressing things like bacteria and parasites, um, eventually virus. Only about 10 years later did we really get into doing retail and um, providing products for outdoor adventurers as well as now even people seeking to improve the quality of tap water in their homes. In light of the current COVID-19 pandemic, LifeStraw products have seen an increase in demand for use in emergency preparations. Several of LifeStraw's products do remove virus. The LifeStraw family, the LifeStraw mission, and the LifeStraw community, a high capacity water purifier. The original personal LifeStraw, as well as the home and go water bottle products, remove bacteria and parasites, but do not remove virus. It should be noted that there's no evidence to suggest that COVID-19 is waterborne. Life Straw is interesting because we really come from humanitarian roots, and so we kind of deploy our hardcore technology first. Most water filters that you will find in a home are not going to remove bacteria or parasites or microplastics. So you could literally take our household pitcher and walk to a river or stream and fill it up and it would still give you safe water. This is our activated carbon and ion exchange filter. So this is an absorption technology which we combine with the hollow fiber membrane which is a size exclusion technology. So together you're getting very advanced household filtration in a simple pitcher. But we've also layered in other protection for things that are emerging like lead or chromium or PFAS. And so there's really dual technologies. Our initial hardcore technology that we've deployed throughout the world for prevention of things like cholera um, and then additional technologies that now remove things that you'd be worried about in your tap water as well. But the core technology is really this hollow fiber membrane that works off of size exclusion. It tastes super good. So Life Straw has always been in the business to save and change lives. We often joke that we're a humanitarian company with a retail program and not a retail company with a humanitarian program. One of the things that we do with all of our retail sales is for every product we sell, we provide a school child with safe water for a year. And we actually implement that program ourselves. We have a full team of staff in Western Kenya, for example, over 40 full-time employees um, that implement these programs in schools. and. Um, as of the end of 2019, we'll have provided more than 3 million school children with a year of safe water. We operate two R&D tracks, and so I see us being able to make additional value propositions in the humanitarian space, especially as we see more and more disasters affecting more and more people. And so we'll be creating higher volume products that can address a larger group of population um, in these types of emergencies. Being able to make water safe throughout the world, not just in a particular developing country or within the U.S., but broadly there are issues of water safety everywhere and I love the fact that LifeStraw has a value proposition for all cases.